Hey everybody, welcome back. It'd be nice to have a little bit of a more sensible run this time, don't you think? No? Okay, well, I was just, that's why I said, what do you think, okay? I think, let me be a slippery writer. Like a, like a ghost writer? Hey, that kind of almost works. Um, their, their squad is just like the, the prototypical, like, round one squad. Unfortunately for you, that means you only get to draw, because I've built something very strange. I feel like if, if I could put an egg on a squirrel, and then level it to level two, and then sell it later and get two eggs, Maybe there's something... Oh, why wouldn't you freeze the cave snail? We could have had two levels up. Either way, I'm, I'm happy with, with the way that the squad looks here. And, and why shouldn't I be? I mean, look at this. We're going to have one trophy. We're going to have a level two squirrel. I'm trying to think of the only other food... Thank you so much for that. <laughs> the only other food I would prefer to have held on you... Uh, two bananas would be nice. Two, two pitas, I guess, if we made it that far in the game. Spend two trumpets to give the friend behind plus six health. That does go crazy if we get some trumpets. We're going to be four squatted, like, at best. Dude, don't be a hater, okay? I know it doesn't do anything for us immediately, but I actually think that the... I'm going to rework this run in the image of a, uh, of a fish build. I don't think this is very bullish for round uh, three. Four, four units, none of them have incredible stats. I honestly, with God as my witness, thought we were going to get a little lucky, and we are! <laughs> uh, okay. So we're re what do we want to see? We want to see Trump, we want to see stats, we want to see trumpet generators. Sure. We want to see stats. You generate a trumpet, that's all I need, man. And then you give four health? It should be set up thusly. This is our squad. Straight up. I'm just seeing what we get. None of this appeals to me that much. I understand the idea of the turtle. But honestly, especially if we're using flying fish, which is presently doing nothing for us. Oh no, I've been weakened. Too bad I'm dead anyway. Four, six, get smoked. Hold on. Oh my god, it's working a, like a darn dream, dude. Are you seeing this? So our flying fish is doing nothing. But the, the beta fish, dare I say it, is performing at a superior level. Now, we got some tier threes. You know what we could do? I hate selling you. Because you're giving four health, which is giving a ton of health to the chipmunk. But the only other thing I could sell is like the stilt. You're not a beta fish either. You're a surgeon fish. My mistake, the joke didn't even make sense. Like, this allows us to possibly get a, a really nice buff on either the surgeon fish or the flying fish from the baboon. But the, you know what? It pays for itself in two turns. And then it also enables this, this double lettuce play right here. Not interested. Not that interested. I'm still not that interested. We don't need three eggs and ham or whatever is going to like be in the shop at some point. Okay, so it totally worked. We have more health on the Surgeon Fish than we otherwise would have had. We're generating enough trumpets that we stand a very realistic chance uh, of, our, of our Surgeon Fish giving us more than one health buff. And that's exactly how that's going to go down. That's several. Now, I don't know, the stats look kind of bad on this because you're doing 11 damage per turn, but we're actually going to come away with this one with a win. That's crazy. I'm accidentally very smart. Now, you're not doing anything, but that doesn't have to last forever. I get that we could chocolate an Osprey to, to make it happen. I don't think that a mongoose or a meerkat, sorry, is the play. I don't think a, a stilt is the play either. I think we're, we're starting to move away from it. Lettuce is still good. And you know what? When we're in a pinch like this, just give me that apple. It buffed exactly the right unit. <laughs> it buffed exactly the right unit. 
Holy cow, you're strong. Wait a minute. Not that strong. Holy cow, he's popping. He is popping. 522. There's got to be something better on the squirrel. Like, we need to get some damage on our squirrel, man. I mean, the, the run is doing some... Is doing some dirty work. No more. But still. If the squirrel had just a little bit more attack, like, imagine what we could get done here. So the flying fish is just doing nothing. It's hard to, like, pivot this to a frog build. But the frog build can be good. But right now, I'm like, I, I don't see anything that I love. You are summoning some things. You know what? You would buff a macaw. I think it's time to... We have to unwind this a little bit. And that's a problem. We should... We should dump... We should dump the squirrel. To get the eggs. We should dump the flying fish. We should add a macaw. And probably set it up like this. And then you are going to summon him here. And you're going to create a super gorilla. And why don't you take an egg. Which will also give an egg to the macaw. And I mean they're free. So we might as well snag them. And then we buy buffing foods. That's a buffing food as far as I'm concerned. And the baboon is going to buff the macaw. We can always just buy that for next turn. If we don't see anything we like. This would just buff a macaw. Which has me a little sleeper. Now you're giving 1-2. If I just popped you at the back, you would give 1-1-1. One, 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 but we don't really care if you get health. So I'd rather concentrate the 1-2, I think. Maybe. I don't know. And we're, we're, we're bailing out and taking the avocado next round. This all, all roads here run through the surgeon fish, okay? You made my surgeon fish weaker, which is not great. But he still gets to do two health buffs on our gorilla, which is going to allow us to really take it. It doesn't even matter. We'll take great advantage of the coconut armor. And you know, this is something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. I am okay with this right now. We'll take our buff. Honestly, what's better, an egg or a banana? Uh, obviously, the egg is not that great. We just happen to get it for free. We'd probably rather have a banana, but more than anything, we'd rather have a tomato. So maybe we just simmer on it for a minute. There's no reason to, to overspend. Take five damage. Give the nearest friend a head. Plus one, plus two. But you're already giving the nearest friend a head. Plus one, plus two. So no thank you. Can you believe that I'm, I'm out here purchasing an apple? No, we can't. We can, we can do this. That's not what we want to see, but that's okay. It, if we could actually get you to level up once, that would be, that would be nice. Now, I, I would say, like, the next thing that would, that would really be top tier for me personally... No, don't buff my stilts! Oh, it's just... It's, it's, it's not all necessarily going to fall apart, but this is not good. <laughs> this isn't the way it's supposed to go down. This isn't how I go. So it ended up being totally okay, but at the same time, just the eggplant screwed up our team quite fiercely. We, I, I, what I was going to say though, is a better trumpet enabler would be sick here. Like ideally, if I could get, this is a very risky play. If I could have you eat something that then gets a beaut, I'm going to try it. I want you to eat something that generates trumpets. Like this, for example. <laughs> Hold on. It's the most seamless transition ever made in gaming history. Now, we have a level 2 beluga that's going to get a 1-2 buff from our baboon, which could also leave pretty soon, to be honest with you. But it's also going to spit out the same level 2 stilt that we had before, except this time, the level... Pardon me, the level 2 stilt... Why not? Is actually going to get a chance to attack. Now, I'm not saying that means that the squad's going to the moon, but there's just if you could have drawn up like the ideal situation to happen, it would have been that. It got to attack one time for no benefit whatsoever. <laughs> oh, but that was kind of sick with it. 
Dun -dun 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 -dun. Indeed. Okay, so that's seven. Still struggling to find the path to... to ten here. Tomatoes next turn. Be very nice. Very nice indeed. Probably it's... Uh, it's and we'd, we'd much rather have blue ringed octopus than this, but it is what it is. Listen, I'm going to bet on this, the surgeon fish. And I know it's a bit of a risk to, to do that instead of just pumping the stats like straight into the monkey that summons a gorilla. But he's been good for us. I'm, I'm rewarding some loyalty here, okay? Now, they have a level three gorilla. That's obviously horrendous news. That's not, it's not like that's a good thing. And that could have gone a lot better. Definitely, definitely, that could have gone a lot better. But you know what? They've bested me. What do you want me to see? Say la vie. Life is cruel. Treats you unfairly. An evil doctor shouldn't speak aloud about his feelings. My pain and my hurt don't make me too appealing. I do... I, I now think that the PETA could go insane here. It does work the way you think that it doesn't work. You can go too, but we need to... Again, it has to be a, a unit that's an, um, an adequate replacement. I think the tomato can go off here too, but we got to do it like this, I think, now. Oh, he ate... But he ate something that's at least going to summon... He ate an Osprey. That's such unbelievable luck. So the Osprey is going to spit out two groundhogs. It's only going to spit out one. Do we need to rework the order here a little bit? Do we need to put you in the front? Yeah, I think we do. Because we really want to have enough trumpets for the surgeon fish to have the ammo to... Yeah, okay. And I'm, we're not worried about the wolf so much on this one. And we know the bonobo is bad, okay? You're not, you don't have to tell me at this point. The, the bonobo never getting to level 2 is bad enough in and of itself. But then, like, it's not even giving us a buff at all here. It's just a, it's a very middling unit. That being said, I like what I see here. I don't necessarily love what I see uh, coming up from this lizard. The lizard is really the, it's the choke point for us. But here, here come the buffs. We're only going to get two. That's, uh, the math worked. We're only going to get one. Never mind. We need to generate more trumpets. Stat. You see how the pita worked for us, by the way? Did you see that? Look at this freaking line. I ain't ever seen eight wins. And I never freaking will. Okay, you, you need to eat a better trumpet generator. They don't exist right now, which is unfortunate. Like, you don't need to be here. Sorry, I don't mean to be offensive. You are a better trumpet generator. We have to wait till next turn. I, I thought about the... The many ways we could crunch the numbers there. Holy cow. Dude, if we can get a level 2 macaw, I think we got a chance. It's pretty early. Round 12 is pretty early in the modern parlance, okay? They got their own level 2 surgeon fish. Very clever. Now, they, you, you used it to make a big beluga. Now, that's... It, I, I would say our success level here depends on what you, what you got popping out of that son of a gun. It's a level 2 something. Level 2 wolf. I don't know if that's going to get the job done, honestly. With, with the kind of heat that we're packing right now. I don't know if that's going to give you everything you need. Okay, we're at nine. Level me? Really feels like chocolate on the beluga is the way to play this. It didn't show up, though. So we, we take what we get. We t Yes, yes, I confirm this. I confirm this because I want to make sure we're eating this dude. Phrasing! We don't do phrasing anymore, okay, Jim Halpert? Um, you might want to think about the way you phrase that. Okay, this is not good for business. I would go a step further. I mean, listen! There's some universal truths in the world of gaming right now. You're simply not gonna beat... What is happening? <laughs> You're simply not going to beat a uh, like a, an Econ Bird of Paradise team if they had the life, like the HP necessary to, to get themselves going, okay? It's just, it's, it's the best build, I think. We do want to get rid of you, but it has to be for a purpose. 
And this is, the, I don't think the penguin's worth it anymore. I'd rather have the roll, quite frankly. Okay, we have a purpose. Sell me to buy me. Because now that gives us the big buff. And now we put anything. Like, honestly, this is plus one attack. I, I'm not that tempted by that. I'm not that tempted by this. Because we need a unit that can go in the front. And, and that unit does not do well in the front right now. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit insano mode. Oh, but if you eat this, you're going to end up eating this falcon. Ah! Okay, this is the play. This is, a, this is organized around long-term success. It's not organized around winning the next round, which I don't think realistically we could make much of an impact on. It's organized around long-term success. Short-term, we are going to lose this next round. This team is a lot better than mine. Oh, but the PETA might have saved me. No, you shot me. <laughs> Give me another coca. I, 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 dude, I know this looks bad. With coconut armor, like a, a higher level macaw, I think we actually stand a chance there. Now you're spitting out a Niala, which actually means we could have a unit on the back line, like a grizzly bear, for example. Okay, this, this actually makes sense. You, do, you don't need to be in the front. I was mistaken. I think we freeze this and look for chocolate. I know we're, we're lowering our odds by having something frozen, but still, okay, I, I accept it, I accept that. We are fading, this is, but I, I think that we're at the position like, oh my God, no, we're in trouble. <laughs> it's a 4450 silver fox. We, the problem is we need our surgeon fish to like guaranteed be able to survive like one hit. This team is just incredible. So that and we need our gorilla to have as much HP as possible to benefit. Okay, so that's what we needed. And this is I'm I'm staking it all on the line here. I would love to see a beluga. We're not gonna see a beluga. We're gonna give a buff to our You're a tier three, so we're not getting the bonus from the pretzel. That would change, it completely changes my calculus. <laughs> you plus me, it doesn't equal us. I guess I didn't know my calculus. I mean, I deserve to take some heat on this one then, but... Hey, we haven't lost yet. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so they're going big trumpet. They're summoning a 50-50 dog. But they, this is also a run that seems to give me a little bit of tempo. Like, I'm going to get a chance for this gorilla to actually pop off. And our bear might land some shots. You never know. Our gorilla is... Look at that. It, it, oh my god, it screwed him up something fierce, man. And our gorilla is, is already at 50. But I, I think we got it. I think we got just enough. Because we get coconut gun. It shoots in spurts. And when it hits, it's gonna hurt. We made it. Okay. Okay. Dude, I, honestly, I think that this, the surgeon fish is not to be trifled with. Not a huge fan of this squad. <laughs> I think the snail can make a difference for sure. Especially with so many people like running geese. But Now this looks horrible because we're, we're buffing. Well, maybe it's okay actually. Let me be like amazing abs. But I'm telling you, I think the tamarind's ability working is what we're looking for. I think that's the highest yield ability here. So you're at 3-2. You're at 2-1. Hold on. Better, better utility than I expected there. Wait, but we used our trumpet to summon a dog instead. Fair. That's fair. That's pretty fair. That's my mistake. I'm just thinking about the way that this needs to be set up. You can laugh all you want. I, with God as my witness, I believe this is the play. Because we need the trumpet from this to do four free damage. And then, like, we... Otherwise, if we set it up in any other order, instead of doing four damage, we summon a 1-1 one, one dog. My personal opinion, that's not that good. Apology accepted, by the way. I'll take it. Now, I think... I love the lizard. We just never really 
been able to make it pop. But maybe, maybe today's the day, you know? Maybe today's the day. And I'm going to buy this for now, the sea turtle. The idea is if the lizard actually gets a chance to summon some extra tails, the turtle will help us out. If it doesn't, um, well, then the, we've got a lot of dead weight. That's just, it, it, it simply is what it is. And we are not going to, so, you know, I, I mean, I called it. <laughs> but one of these days, it's going to come to pass, man. Looking high chance of a level next time, or even this time. I actually... Oh, no, because we need trumpet enablers in order to use the tamarind. I'm taking my level this time, and then we may not even take our level on the groundhog. Because we don't need more... Or maybe we should take the level, and we should try to build in... The cone snail can go... Can, the lizard can go first. Forget about the cone snail. Urchin me? I don't feel like the urchin is is that bad for us. I'd like to apologize for just being wrong. Tend to fall apart in the mid game quite frequently here. Cone snail level. We remember in order for the tamarind to make any sense, we need to keep the groundhog. But maybe we just embrace the fact that the tam... Oh, but it's like our best unit. Like, you can go. Like, this makes sense. You can go. I'm just trying to figure out, can we fit a Manta? And the answer, maybe no. But actually, this squad is, is perfect. If you'll allow this, I'm so sorry. We have to sell you because you... We're going to sell the... We're going to sell the Tamarind. We're going to sell the Groundhog. We're going to sell the Groundhog. We're going to sell the Tamarind. So we're going to sell... We're going to sell. So we're completely unwinding our squad. My hope is that I'm simply doing this before it's too late. And I think that we might be, honestly. So we got a, a pseudo-econ build. We want the cone snail to give the health to our gorilla. Son of a... <laughs> Still, 814 gorilla can kind of go off. And we got plenty of time to... To like focus on on spawning. I gotta. I'm clarifying it in my own mind. What we are looking to do is get things that benefit a spawn unit and add good equipment to the macaw as well. And we got the econ for it, so we don't need you. Tier fours are getting buffed right now. Freeze this for a second, because the cone snail can literally just go. But I don't think it goes yet. Like, we might as well take this buff. Oh, tier threes are getting the buff. I think I broke the game. Because I don't have any tier threes. <laughs> I can't unfreeze the lettuce. There, it's good. That's, I mean, it's a complete waste of money. I, I can't deny it in the slightest. It's a, like a, a, an absolute garbage use of our econ. I didn't... You just got to look at the dice in the bottom left to figure it out. But, uh, alas... And a lack, I did not. You gonna annoy me? Not as much as you might think. But some, you know, you're gonna win. Yeah, you've annoyed me. You, you got the job done here. Would have been nice to have three extra gold to do something with there, but that's okay. We're on two life. I think we've got a path. We don't want you. I'm sorry. Roll me. We do want you. This will be a tier 5. Friend ahead hurt. Give it melon perk and plus 5 attack. I would love it if this could work with our gorilla. But it just doesn't... We can't put it in between this because you spawn him out at the start of the next battle. So, is what it is. If you get a knockout, activate faint ability on the nearest friend behind. It's not something we're looking for. Two friends faint, buff the friend behind. Okay, I think that this now allows us... To do that, we're not going to get like a ton out of this, but at least it made our lettuce like more worthwhile. And that lettuce is pretty good. A lot of people will tell you I'm like over lettuce pilled. You're probably right. I think t t straight up, forget this. I think we absolutely want to have the flying fish pop out. The flying fish is like putting chocolate on the macaw. 
It's a second chocolate. And look at some of the squads we're going up against, man. This is not turn one anymore. I'm, so I'm sorry. I don't want to make you, like, feel bad. I'm just saying it's not turn one anymore. So why are you coming at me with this you got level two silk moth, okay? Okay, you, it just literally you cannot lose now. Because if you lose now, it looks so embarrassing. <laughs> we did not even come close. Our turtle with the hat on. It was clear from the word go. So now you're gone. I know it seems crazy. It seems insane. If we have to, we could take... No, 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 no. No, we don't. Because instead we just pop this on you. Freeze this. Then we lettuce. It's, it's still a two-unit buff. We will summon at least one monkey. We may summon two, but summoning two is actually... It means something unfortunate happens. We're happy to summon one, honestly. That's, that, that in and of itself is, is a job well done. Because look at what's coming. Ooh, 614 monkey? In my house, we call that 7-2. Not interested. Chocolate. Very interested. <laughs> now, we probably should just be feeding the gold like straight up to the, the monkey, but whatever. Thank you for not punishing me. Now, if I can get a beluga to eat you, I would replace a manta with that. So I'm going to keep you frozen for just a moment. Corporate accounts payable, Nina speaking. Just a moment. I'm rolling because I don't see anything I love. I love that. I would say maybe I'm, I'm not comfortable having this much frozen. Our manta is definitely sellable. But the, the thing is, we have to run four squatted anyway. If you have to run four squatted, the Manta's like your best friend, right? Holy cow, we are cruising with it right here. And anybody that loses to us, and I understand the asynchronous nature of the game, but anybody that loses to this squad is probably going to be like, yeah, of course I lost to you. Look at your squad. You don't know what I went through to get here, so shut your mouth, okay? <laughs> you, you have no clue of, of, of the the... What has led to this situation, okay? So don't act like you know. I clicked it twice. I should have... Uh, this is, next turn is going to look great for us. We sell the Manta. We buy the Beluga. We have it eat anything that isn't the chocolate. Holy cow, that is a strong lad. Nice econ build. I got to give you some credit for your econ build. I don't think we're making it through this one. We're going to be on lethal, but honestly, that's just the way I like it. Sometimes. Okay, this is the this is the sauce. It's a cell. We really would rather have a level 2 gorilla. I know that the flying fish is there too. But I think it's a buy. And an eat. And I, I understand our order-based concerns here. And then a... Buy, and I'll roll. I still think you want the level two gorilla more than I would love to live because we got the level three flying fish. But I think that the, I guess it's a level two gorilla either way. But you you get what I'm saying. I think the the basically we get eight extra HP on the gorilla for it coming from the macaw. So that's the it, it's a higher priority for me. You're not gonna knock me out. You're still not going to knock. I mean, we're going to knock each other out. Okay, and then this is where the dolphins cry right here. Cry with, with joy, maybe. So now we're going to get the flying fish. We didn't even get to see the second aspect of the squad. The first aspect of the squad that's popping off here is um, that it's nice to have a big gorilla. The second aspect of the squad that can pop off here is that we have this whole, like, uh, summon build coming from this beluga. So we got, we're like the, the Tampa Bay Lightning, you know? We got, we got multiple different ways to beat you. We could beat you in the scoring column with Braden Point and Nikita Kucherov, Steven Stamkos. We can beat you on defense with the inimitable Victor Hedman, Sergeyev, one of the, one of the clutchest goaltenders in the league. Vasilevsky, sorry, just let me a second to remember his name. I don't watch a lot of games uh, from the East because they start when it's like 4 p.m. my time. I'm like, that's literally 10 minutes from now, okay? I'm at, I'm at work. And I'm not a Tampa Bay Lightning fan. I, I just, I am a Tampa Bay Lightning respecter. 
Don't get it twisted. Okay, we want stat buffs, basically. This is all we're looking for. Stat buffs and belugas. That is a stat buff. It's only 2-2, two, two, but that's better than nothing, brother. I think we should put it on you just to give us a... You know, it's not the first time that's happened, and it's unlikely to be the last time <laughs> it's happened either. <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I'm over it. I recognize my own stupidity. It is what it is. I think we still got a chance, even if we lose. At least I acknowledge it. where the loss came from. It came from me. Michael, can I thank you? You, I thought you saved me. You didn't really save me. Holy cow, this is a strong team, man. What did you, how'd you get your manatee to pop like that? I don't even want to state the obvious. No. <laughs> I feel like if we had a wolf on this one, this one might have gone off. But honestly, okay, I see how they did it. They let a manatee die with a banana on it to get a level two monkey. That's a, that's a unique strat. You got a really cool thing going on there. I can't be mad. Would my wolves have done it for me? I don't want to think about it, but I do think the answer is yes, even though it would have triggered the flycatcher a bunch. Either way, I had a great time. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!